do you consider that Turkey is behind a hybrid attack using civilian resources for military purposes? So could you perhaps comment on that? What I can say at this stage is that we are seeing things that could be described as propaganda or fake news or misinformation circulating in social media. We've already talked about the videos that are doing the rounds on social media. So there is a lot of disinformation on the situation on migrants in Turkey and refugees and movements and also as regards decisions taken by authorities both in the Greek and Turkish side. So this is something that we're aware of and that we are monitoring and I know that there are huge efforts uh, being made to disseminate fake news and we're trying to get, find out who's behind it. Yes, you've got a follow-up? Yes, on the misinformation and a hybrid attack, uh, there are various aspects. Another point is uh, the various modes of transport. So there are civilian resources used to transport the migrants to the border. So that basically it would be a hybrid attack, a mixed attack. So could you comment? Well, as I say, in the field of information and misinformation on social media, we are observing, we are monitoring what's happening, we're paying a lot of attention to it, we're analysing it uh, uh, on various aspects. But at this stage, we cannot make a judgement uh, because the analysis of what's happening is ongoing. Thank you very much. Any other questions for Peter?